of life is turning round and round. Right. The wheel of life is turning round and round. The spring summer rose on the ground. The spring summer rose on the ground. The wheel of life is turning round and round. The winter life is turning round and round. The young stag came running down, down, down. The young stag come running down, down, down. And the wheel of life is turning round, round, round. The wheel of life is turning round, round, round. round, round. to be happy because we're having brighter days, shorter nights and most of my poem is like a ref reflections of like the joy and beauty of nature but I'm going to start on a, like, a slightly political note because everything that's going on at the moment in the world we need to come together and just try and focus on making the earth great for everyone that lives here. On a rock so unrelenting Heavy egos fail to yield. Many trapped within a mindset, rooted in their field. Force and bloodshed tried and tested. Much lost and many slain. By green eyed brutes in dark and suits, looking for more gain. The earth is our ally. We must listen to the land. Don't force our hand on nature but learn to understand. It's not what we have that defines us. Greed doesn't truly pay. Give without expecting. Surrender to Earth's way. Clasp the hilt gently with joy deep within your soul. Because we are sliding softly towards our intended goal. We are stewards for the people with hearts full of empathy. Put your faith in the universe and all its mystery. Thank you. Uh, Woo! Uh, yeah, more. Uh, the next couple are about spring and the world waking up. One day she woke to hear a song drifting on the breeze. Her feet were light. Filled with the light, she glided around the trees. She needed to find the music to hear the sound once more. But the harder she looked, the longer it took. The search became a bore. So she relaxed. The sound came back. She didn't know what to do. Should she lie and listen, or start her search anew? Rainbow halo, already steady, raring to go. Revving, rearing, appearing to glow. Clouds clapping and cheering. Let's start the show. Grey curtains are parting to a hearty symphony. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a story of staunch poetry. It's the narration of germination, a program of pollination, an orchestral celebration featuring some of the nation's finest fledgling choirs. It's a star studded car. Picture, if you can, our stage. A round, circular meadow with a narrow, meandering hedgerow crisscrossing down the middle. <laughs> One side lay shielded from the sun. Darkness had won. The ground lay fallow and barren. Yet one morning, not so long ago, a tree used to see the breeze. Some were eaten, some weather beaten, most destined to fail. But one seed sailed over the divide and nestled neatly and completely on the other side. Destined to prevail. This seed grew without light, transcending eternal night, its white leaves glisten across the meadow. Over the hedgerow, 
there was a crescendo of colour and glory. A vibrant, illuminating, perpetual spring. A sumptuous, voluptuous, magical scene. Yet in the middle, there was an ugly black shrub and tainted stuff in need of love. For me, spirituality is all-encompassing, transcending eternal night, because in essence, they are the same thing. In this great theatre, you can experience everything. We are the masters of our ceremonies, the drivers of our dreams. We are the darkness and the light, the day and the night. I give some thanks to Mr. Aubrey, Stupley and Keeler too. Stories of the place we see for the good people do. The keeper of the stones is one, it's my knowledge and wise. The journey he will take you on of the past and the present time. Then all thanks I give. See what we can see. 